Hey everyone, Matt here from Native Instruments, and today we're gonna check out the Contact Player Instrument Retro Machines Mark II. Retro Machines Mark II is a collection of 16 definitive analog synthesizers and keyboards, lovingly sampled and refined for the world's leading sample platform, Contact. The collection covers the classic, the idiosyncratic, and the exotic instruments that defined electronic pop in the 70s and 80s. With eight integrated sound variations, step sequence arpeggiators, and a chord player that plays chords with a single note, each preset captures the character sound of the original instruments. Let's play through a few. Okay, let's start with some drums in Ableton and build out a few elements using only Retro Machines Mark II. I've already selected a preset from the Super JP menu on the left hand side. Let's record a bass line. Sounds good, I'm gonna quickly quantize all these notes. Let's check out the sound variations. Each variation is a production-ready synth sound, a specific combination of oscillators, filters, amp envelopes, and other settings. Your tweaks are saved within each variation, and you can use the morph slider to shift between variations for dynamic sound. I'm going to link the variation slider to my mod wheel here in the settings page. Now, in Ableton, I can draw in different variations for different sections of my song. With the MIDI region selected, we'll click on the Envelopes tab. Then, here where it says Pitch Bend, we'll change this to Mod. Now, you can play or draw in the modulation. Let's play this back and see how it sounds. You could see how it changed from sound variation 5 to 1. Now let's layer in a lead. I've already selected the preset Glassy Bell. I'm going to go to the ARP chord tab and turn on the chord player. The chord player creates chords from single notes. In fixed chord mode, set your intervals and play chords with one finger up and down the keyboard. You can change the chord types with this drop down menu. If you turn off fixed chord, you can choose a key template and the chords you hear automatically fit the selected key. For this sound, we'll select minor 1 from the drop down menu, then transpose the chord set to D, which is the key of my song. Now I can play different chords with one note. Let's also turn up the reverb and echo on the main synth tab. All right, time to record a melody. Same thing here, I'm just gonna quickly quantize everything, make them the same note length, and level the velocities. We'll also duplicate it to the second half of our song. Last thing I wanna do is check out the arpeggiator. I already have a string patch loaded. The arpeggiator in Retro Machines Mark II is a modern reinterpretation of the arpeggiators in the original machines. Choose 16 steps or 12 step triplet mode and define the velocity of each individual step.
What I'm going to do is assign a different sound variation to each step in the pattern. You can do this manually by changing the pattern under each slider. You can also select a preset here from the drop down menu. If I click on the synth tab, you can see how it moves through the sound variation as I hold the note. Now that we've tweaked this preset a little bit, let's record it. Let's just quantize all these notes and let's play the entire thing back. And that's Retro Machines Mark II. Check it out today at nativeinstruments.com or get it as part of the Complete Now bundle. Be sure to check out the rest of the plugin walkthrough videos to see what comes with Complete Now and how you can make most of all the included sounds.